A former Taylor University student misidentified in a deadly crash 10 years ago is here in Indiana tonight. First responders thought that Whitney Sirak died in an accident involving a school van on I-69. Their mistake was not apparent until five weeks after the crash. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker was at Taylor as Whitney appeared on campus for the first time since she graduated. Well, this is the Memorial Chapel here at Taylor University, dedicated to the five people who died that night in that terrible crash. People, Whitney Sarek Wheeler, who survived the accident, says she has wondered about many times, wondering why she lived and they died. In a packed Taylor University auditorium, some of the people applauding the blonde woman standing behind the podium speaking Wednesday were some of the same people who cried at her funeral 10 years earlier. A lot of people actually wonder this, like what will people say at your funeral about you? But the weird thing is that I already know that answer. The Taylor graduate spoke about the day that changed her life forever. April 26, 2006, 10 years ago, that marked me, that day marked me. That was the day Sarek and eight other people were riding in a Taylor University van back to school from Fort Wayne when a semi crossed the median on I-69 and hit them head on. Four Taylor students and an employee were killed. At the time, though, because of a mix-up at the scene, emergency workers thought Sarek had died and that another student, Laura Van Rijn, had survived. They took me up to the hospital, but they thought that I was Laura. And the girls' families wouldn't know differently for five weeks after Sarek woke up from her coma and wrote her name. But the Van Ryans, they loved me like I was their daughter because they believed that I was their daughter. Um, and even after I wrote Whitney, and their world changed, they knew that I wasn't their daughter. They still treated me like I was their family. Sarek told the students the accident brought her closer to God. Doctors said that I would never be the same because of the brain injury that I had. Um, but it's a good thing that we don't put our hope in doctors, that we put our hope in God. Four months later, Sarek started her sophomore year at Taylor. Today, she's married with three children. And Sarek Wheeler says despite all of the attention, media attention over the years because of the accident, she hasn't let it define her. In fact, she says it helped her find her identity in Christ, a message that really resonated here today at this Christian university. Back to you.